friends welcome to quick lab this is data communication and computer networking series in this video i will explain you introduction of data communication and computer network data communication and computer networking series so this video cover the following topics first i will give the introduction of data communication and its fundamental like what is data what is information what is data communication what is the characteristic of data communication what is the component used in data communication etc then i will define you what is network what is protocol and what is the standard used in networking so all this topic i will cover in this video so let's come with the topic data communication here the word data communication is the combination of data and communication so what is communication communication is a process of exchanging information from one point to another point that is called communication if this communication in the form of data or bit so this is called data communication or we can say that data communication is a process of exchanging data or information in case of computer network this exchange is done between two device over a transmission media so the process involved in communication system is made up of hardware and software the hardware part include sender receiver and the intermediate device through which the data pass the software part involves certain rule which specify what is to be communicate how is to be communicate and when is to be communicate this is called protocols so with the help of hardware and software all the information can transmit from one point to another point in the world so this is called data communication now component of data communication A data communication system has five components. First is message, second sender, receiver, transmission media, and protocols. These five are the major component of data communication. What is message? Message is the form of information which is to be communicated by the sender to the receiver. Message is any kind of information, text, audio, video information which is sent. or communicate by the sender to its to the receiver next is the sender sender is any device that is capable of sending the data or message next component is receiver the receiver is a device that the sender want to communicate the data or message now transmission media transmission media is the path by which the message travel from sender to receiver it can be wired or wireless the example of wire transmission media are optical fiber cable coaxial cable copper wire cable and the example of wireless transmission media are microwaves bluetooth mobile communication these are the example of wireless communication the last component of data communication and the most important are protocol protocol is basically a set of rule or regulation that govern data communication or we can say that it is basically a set of rule used by sender and receiver to communicate data a protocol is necessary in data communication without which the communication is not possible now the characteristic of data communication the effectiveness of any data communication system depend upon the following fundamental characteristic first is delivery the data should be delivered to the correct destination and correct user next is accuracy the communication system should deliver the data accurately without introducing any error the data may get corrupt during transmission affect the accuracy of the delivered data next is timelessness the audio or video data has to be delivered in timely manner without any delay such data delivery is called real time data transmission next is jitter it is the variation in the packet arrival time uneven jitter may affect the timelessness of the data being transmitted so these are some characteristic of data communication now data representation data or information is transmitted in the form of number text audio video images text include combination of alphabet 
in small case as well as in upper case it is stored as a pattern of bit next is number number include combination of digits from 0 to 9 it is stored also a pattern of bit next is image an image is worth a thousand words in computer image are digitally stored a pixel is the smallest element of an image the pixel are represent in the form of bit depend upon the type of image black image white image color image each pixel would require different number of bits to represent the value of pixel the size of the image depend upon the number of pixel also called resolution next is audio data or information which is to be transmit is also in the form of sound which can be recorded or broadcasted next is video video refer to broadcast of data in the form of picture or movies so these are the representation of data next is data flow or transmission mode transmission mode define how the device can communicate with each other or how device can transfer data between sender and receiver so this is called transmission mode it is also known as directional mode because the transmission mode define the direction of data flow between sender and receiver so there are three type of transmission mode first is simplex second half duplex and third is full duplex first is simplex in simplex communication is unidirectional here we see this is sending device this is receiving device uh, in simplex sending device only send the data and receiving device only receive the data it means the communication is unidirectional the best example of simplex is the radio station or the keyboard and monitor or here we see the cpu and the monitor cpu or keyboard only give the input and monitor display that output so these are the example of simplex mode next is half duplex in case of half duplex both the station can transmit as well as receive the data but not at the same time this is one device this is second number device if one device want to send data so second number device receive the data if second number device want to send data first number device receive the data but both device cannot send and receive data simultaneously the example of half duplex is walkie talkie next is full duplex mode in case of full duplex mode both device can transmit and receive data at the same time the best example of full duplex is mobile phones so these are the type of transmission mode now computer network computer network are used in data communication for transmitting information between device so a computer network can be defined as a collection of nodes what do you mean by nodes here a node is a any device capable of transmitting or receiving data the communicating node have to be connected by communication link or transmission media now the computer network should ensure reliability of data communication process security of the data and the performance by achieving higher throughput and smaller delay time now categories of network so based on their size there are three type of network used in data communication first is lan local area network second wan wide area network and third is man metropolitan area network this topic i will explain in my coming video in detail here i give only the brief introduction of all the topics what is local area network local area network is usually limited to a few kilometers of area it may be privately owned and could be a network inside an office on one of the floor of a building or lan could be a network consist of computer in the entire building next is wide area network wide area network made up of all the network in large area geographically area just like for example the network in the entire state could be a wan third is man metropolitan area network man is the metropolitan area network man size between lan and wan it is larger than lan but smaller than wan it may compress the entire network in the city like mumbai pune 
so these are the category of network next is protocol protocol is a set of rule or regulation that govern the data communication a protocol define what is to be communicate how is to be communicate and when is to be communicate for successful communication between two device the sender and receiver must agree upon certain rule and regulation that is called protocol now element of protocol there are three element of protocol syntax semantics and timing syntax is basic, basically the format of the data or the structure of the data is called syntax next is semantics semantics tell the meaning of each section of bit and indicate the interpretation of each section it also tell what action and decision is to be taken based on the interpretation third is timing timing tell the sender about the readiness of the receiver to the receiving data it tell the sender at what rate the data should be sent to the receiver to avoid overwhelming the receiver so these are the element of protocols next is the concept of standard what do you mean by standard standard is necessary in computer networking to ensure interconnectivity between various in networking hardware and software component the concept of standard is standard provide guideline to product manufacturer and vendor to ensure national and international interconnectivity data communication standards are classified in two category first is de facto and second is de jure standard de facto it is based on fact it means these are the standard that that have been traditionally used and mean by the fact or by the convention these standard are not approved by any organized body but are adopted by widespread use next is de jure standard de jure it mean it is standardized by rule or regulation or laws these standards are legalistic and approved by any official recognized body so this is called de facto and de jure standards next is standard organization in field of network there are number of ex organization that provide standard standard are created by standardized creation committees firms and government regulatory agencies example of some committees are first is iso in international organization of standardization itut international telecommunication union for telecommunication standard ansi american national standard institute ieee indian institute of electrical and electronics engineering eia electronic industry association these are the standard creation committees next example of firms atm firms mpls firm and frame relay firm next the example of regulatory agency federal communication committee fcc is the regulatory agency so here i explain all the computer network and data communication fundamentals in brief in my coming video i will give all the detail of computer network and data communication so stay continue if you are the hindi viewer of this channel i will upload the hindi version of this topic or all the coming topic in my hindi playlist of data communication and networking